Kudos. UN applauds IPO after discovering, building, accommodating Hausa and Fulani Boko people. See reaction. The IPOP has done a very brilliant work in this very uh, discovery. You see, this is why Unam the Kanu formed the group ESN. And he was singing that aloud and making Nigerians to understand the reason why this group were formed. The people who actually know, knew the capability and the authenticity of this group started kicking against this because they happened to be the ones to, uh, supporting and funding these Boko people. So they believe that with the recognition of these people, their plans, their evil plans, we no longer uh, we no longer come to come to pass. You understand? So, in fact, you need to see what uh, the IPOP actually did to these people. In the process, eight people out of those that uh, that was were caught were killed in that very spot. Let's check the content. This is evening news. Great move. As IPOP has finally been able to discover the hideout of the Boko people. In that very discovery, some are houses, Fulanis, who are actually the government disturbing and terrorizing the community in Oweri, Imo State, and also in the Niger Republic. The government who on Tuesday tried to attack some persons in Imo, but through the help of the indigenous people of Biafran security outfit, they were held down and trapped on the spot. An eyewitness who actually reported this have said that the indigenous group have actually showcased their strength by helping to protect the community from danger. According to an eyewitness, they said that some of them are houses and why some of them are Fulanese. They came in a disguise pretending to be sellers of commodities only for them to have weapons and ammunition hidden under their product. The vigilants who happens to be IPOC members were patrolling the community and were able to discover these criminals and raised alarm. Immediately, the community people gathered and ran for their dear lives. The IPOP members who already are already in the community took over the whole community, trapped these criminals, and got them arrested. We appreciate the IPOP members for this brilliant move. If not for them, we would have been killed and our community would have been deserted. The claims. That's it. You see, my dear people, um, an information came to us that these Boko people have shared themselves. They have shared themselves. And after sharing themselves, they have to disguise themselves, pretending to be seller of this, seller of that. But the main truth is that they are Boko people. You may see some of them selling orange. They are not orange sellers. You may see some of them selling cola. They are not cola sellers. You may see of them see some of them patrolling or looking like a madman. They are not madman or mad women. They are buko people. They are spies. And that is why you have to be vigilant and be watchful. Most especially people living in a lonely environment you have to be very very cautious in fact security is very very important because these guys are out for something crazy so that is why the community people are applauding the ipop for this brilliant move according to them 
The moment the IPOP member discover these people, they raised alarm. The community people gathered. Some of them ran for their dear lives. Why the IPOP members took took charge of the community and got these guys trapped with immediate threat? That is to tell you that these guys, the IPOP members, are always at watch, and their being at watch has really been helping matters. In fact, I want to applaud the IPOP members for this uh, for this brilliant work. These guys have been working. They have been working. They have been working, and it's worth it. It's worth it. You understand? This is why Namdi, this is what Namdekan was trying to explain to, uh, to to Nigerians when he came up with the with with the ESN, so that they will know that look that this group has not just come to cause any unnecessary trouble, but rather they have come to help fight insecurity in the country, and which we are already seeing. Okay, now. They are blaming Namdi Kano and calling Namdi Kano all sort of name that Namdi Kano is a terrorist, Namdi Kano is that and that. Now Namdi Kano is in detention. He's in detention. What is now happening? Is what is happening not still happening? This should give us a sign that it is not the IPOP. Everybody is lamenting and saying that the IPOP have, has have been of help to them. Have been of help to them. Everybody's lamenting that. But the federal government doesn't want to accept that truth. They don't want to accept the truth. So whether they accept or not, the truth will always be there. And it will always be there to reveal itself. So I want to applaud the uh, the indigenous group for this brilliant move because it's not easy. You understand? It's not easy. All right. Um, let's hear you, my dear people. Let's know what your take, what your opinions, what your ideas, and all of that may be. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.